Hello, so today's tutorial will be how to make hair cards in Maya part 1, Xgen Basics. First, go to poly modeling and make a plane. Make the subdivision width and height 1. Click on the Xgen tab. If the tab is not available, go to the top and click the Xgen tab. Then open Xgen window. Now click create new description. The collection name is the name of the folder that you'll put all your different hair cards in. The description name is of the specific hair card. I usually number them because there can be many cards. Then click Placing and Shaping Guides. Press Create. Click Add Guides. Place them in various locations depending on the type of hair strand you are trying to make. Click the eye icon. Highlight all the guides, then scale them to how long you want your hair to be. Click the eye icon. Okay, now you have some strands. If your strands disappear while clicking the eye icon, here's an easy fix. Go to preview output, then uncheck only primitives in the view. Now let's change the density. Play with the slider till you get your desired density. Now click the arrow and mask and then click create map. Change the map resolution to 80 and the start color to black. Press create. On the far left, click the brush icon. Make sure to have a hard brush and to change the color to white. Press B and drag or use the middle mouse to change the size of your brush. I usually try to make a lip shape, but it also depends on your reference. Then click the save icon. Not bad, let's add a few strays. Then click the save icon. You can also hide the strands by clicking the closed eye. Go to guide tools and click rebuild. Change the CV count to 8. This adds more segments in your guide. Then change modifier CV count to 25. Click the closed eye icon, then press sculpt guides. Press B and drag or use the middle mouse to change the size of your brush. Now sculpt the guides to the desired hair reference. Click the eye icon to see the strands. Okay, we're getting there, but you'll find throughout the whole process you'll always be tweaking the guides. Now change the width to 0.02. I usually always add 4 points to the width ramp. I like the width of the root and tip to be a bit smaller. I usually will make the density 100 as well. Now click modifiers. Click add modifier. You will commonly use clumping, cut, noise, or coil. Click clumping. Click setup maps. Click guides and you'll see tiny yellow lines on your plane. Press save. Play with the clump scale until you get your desired look. Add another clumping modifier. Click Setup Maps. This time play with the density and the point display length, then click Generate and press Save. Okay, looking more like hair. Again, you can play with the clump scale. 
Now let's add the cut modifier. Let's change the amount to 4. Let's change the background. Press Alt B. Click the eye guide icon to hide guides. Let's add a noise modifier now. I'm going to just tweak the magnitude scale for now, but you can play with the other settings. Now let's add one more noise modifier. Let's input a stray expression. In frequency, type stray, open bracket, close bracket, space, question mark, space, zero, colon, period, two. Do the same for magnitude, but change the point two to four. Now click descriptions, then click set stray percentage. Change percentage to 80. I'll just tweak the magnitude scale a bit. Lastly, let's look at coil. Add coil modifier. This time I don't want it to affect all the guides, so let's create a mask. Go to the mask arrow and click create mask. Again, map resolution at 80 and start color at black. Paint where you would like the hair to coil. I'm going to move the guide so you can see the coil more easily. Increasing the count will increase the amount of coils you have. Lowering the root will make the hair straight before it becomes curly. Play around with the settings until you get your desired look. You have now learned the basics of the common functions in XGen. In part 2, I will be making hair cards and how to make a normal map, flow map, ID map, and an AO map in Maya and Photoshop. I hope you had fun and thank you for watching.